KM, I hate you sometimes. You know that, right? Hello, everyone. Oh, what you're thinking doing the commentary on a kid? No, I'm not that stupid. Let's just skip to the people who are doing the commentary on a kid. Yes, I said people. Oh, great. A kid with a slow and monotone voice feeding an obvious troll. Normally, if you were to ask me what the standout word in a sentence would be, it would probably be troll. But not in this case. In this case, it's kid. Four-wheeler, I know you don't make good commentaries, but come on. I thought you and Justin were smarter than this. Lastly, knowing that these two use both Fox and Falco, one would probably expect me to use Wolf in this commentary. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not that predictable. They are using furry characters, though, so the call's okay. Also, he mentioned trolls, so... Well, I think he is a troll, and he's doing it to people like you to get reaction to get from you. Now, let's face it, the Game Boy wasn't that good of a system. The only people who really like it are the kitties who are like, Whoa, I can play Pokemon in other games. So the people who got a Game Boy play kitty games? Wow, what a failure, broken record you sound. Well, if he said that over and over and over again, then yeah, he'll be considered as a broken record, but however, he only said that one time in this entire video. He could just be referring to Gligar in general. But in the end, it made you sound like a pseudo-intellectual like Grantage. Today, I'm going to talk about Super Mario Land, and my god, this game hasn't aged very well. I mean, this game just doesn't play that good, it's not fun. In my opinion, I actually like the game. I played it on the emulator on the Game Boy on my computer, and it was really good. But guess what? There are games on the Game Boy that are pretty much better than Super Mario Land. Like the second Super Mario Land game as an example. This is my opinion. This is my opinion. Look, dumbass, you don't have to say this is my opinion in order for it to be in an opinion. Video game reviewers like Angry Video Game Nerd, Angry Joe, IGN, GameSpot, etc. state their opinions after were facts to make their points seem stronger. Except they're not trying to state their opinions as facts. They're just not always stating in my opinion. Besides, What's so wrong with the kid saying it's in his opinion? At least he acknowledges that there are different opinions in this world. Gligar here is just giving away his opinion on the game, even though he is trolling. He is a troll. Up over it. And the only thing that people really care about is the music because it's Mario, and the people like Mario would rather listen to Mario for 14 hours on their iPod than listen to actual music. So all people do is actually hear the Mario music in like an hour? Well, yeah. Says the guy who makes shitty reviews. What the, what the hell does this have to do with, with the music? music? By the way, there is a limit to how much you want to kill yourself for listening to the exact same music. Well, of course there has to be a limit to the number of times you have to kill yourself. I mean, you only have one life. I mean, it's really silly if you have to kill yourself twice. Unless that's not what you're trying to say, in which case I would suggest re-recording before publishing. So let's talk about the game. First off, one thing I'd like to mention is I did not use any emulators. I used a real Game Boy player for this, so you can't really pull. So if, if you're going to comment with a comment saying, you used an emulator, you can choose your baby kids in it. You can't really use that because I was using this on a real GameCube. So anyways, let's talk about the gameplay. The controls are horrible. Hmm, the overly cliche record scratch sound effect. Kind of reminds me of my days as a commentary fag. Well, is there anything else wrong with the record scratch other than being cliched? Are you gonna bring anything up to prove me wrong? No? No? Uh, okay, fuck you too. Are you serious? You're gonna bitch? 
and moan about the controls? Dude, I never have any problem with the controls at all. Not at all. Besides, many people who played the game didn't have any problem with the controls. Well, if you want my experience with Super Mario Land, I downloaded it for the Virtual Console on my 3DS, and I do have to agree with Gligar. The controls are really stiff. He also stops dead in his tracks, and he doesn't gain any momentum like he did on the NES. The controls... Well, the jump controls are not slippery at all. Every time I jump, I never had the problem with the jump button. Jeez, is it just me, or do you suck at every single game you have reviewed? Refer to one of our earlier statements, please. I know we've talked about the controls of the game before, but which comment are you referring to? The first comment you've made on him? The last comment? Any of the comments in the middle? You're so big on this, I'm just gonna assume you're talking about the record scratch. Also, earlier in the video, you said that you played it on an emulator. Glycar is playing it on a GameCube player. Those controls are completely different. Hey, you know, Justin made a comment about playing this game on the Virtual Console for the 3DS. So why not call out your own partner on the same shit you're calling the cat out on? They are just slippery. The graphics, well, they look like even worse than Super Mario on the NES. Now I know this was an original Game Boy title. And the graphics, the graphics in my opinion, weren't shit at all. You may think Screw Attack is right, but I don't. Thanks for the little flashbacks here, fucker. And this is why I like the Sega Game Gear better than the Game Boy. Because the graphics were colorful. It looked like I was playing on a Sega Genesis instead of a handheld. A gaming system with significantly more power than a handheld has better graphics than a handheld? Wow, I never would have guessed. But still, the game just doesn't look that great. I mean, good job using white text with a gray background this, so people can again, barely even see it. At least he specified which comment to refer to. The person who made this later developed the Virtual Boy, and then the Wonder Swan, which is basically another monochrome handheld based off some similar principles, which had a really shitty sound system and had a ton of Japan. That part right there, where you just got killed by Goomba, pretty. Kid, get away from the microphone. Justin, have some manners. Don't interrupt the kid while he's talking, please. Has a perfect proof why you suck at games so much. And I would have died laughing to see you die by getting hit by that Goomba. Whoa, you want him to die in real life all because he's criticizing a game that you like? Technically, no, he's not. Technically, he's just saying, if Glider were to die from a Goomba, he would die from laughter. You sadist. Glider 13 vids is the devil for hating games that we like. Remember that rant on Big CN fan that you made a few months back where you kept on calling him a tryhard? No? Me neither. Games. So that's another topic. Let's just say that the Game Boy wasn't that good of a system in the first place anyway. You know what system console? That sucks! Xbox 360! The punchline is that they're playing Xbox 360 games. Why did I spoil the punchline now? Because it takes them two fucking minutes to get to it! You do not spend two fucking minutes on a joke that isn't that funny! Why did they make the joke? Because the kid made a comment about not liking the 360. This entire joke was not needed, too long, and it doesn't even work to begin with. The game's a multi-platform. And, you know the worst part about this game? It's just cheap, with the wonky collision detection, the controls being trash, and, and the fact that it's just not fun at all. I mean, 
all you do is you just run through stages and rescue the princess, supposedly. Why did you die on purpose again? Wait a minute. Earlier in the video, you said that he hates the game all because he sucks at it. And now you're saying that he died on purpose. Uh, kid, can you please make up your mind? Here's the thing. It's not a contradiction to say someone died on purpose yet sucked at the game. Please, for the love of God, get a dictionary. Speaking of doing it on purpose, that's Gligar's gimmick. He's getting a rise out of you. If he's doing it, people will like you to get a reaction to get from you. All in all, let this game sit for six bucks in a bargain bin and go play better games. Or better yet, don't play Game Boy at all. Go play like a better portable like PSP. Fuck you. I'm not gonna listen to you. Nobody's gonna listen to you because you're the one who makes shitty reviews. Besides, yes, I do play PSP, but I play the Game Boy Elevator on my computer. Sorry for mispronouncing that one word, but dang. God, you're... You have got to be one of the worst users on the entire world. Well, Mars the Plumber, in my opinion, is still worse than this douchebag. Speaking of Mario the Plumber, why the fuck did you subscribe to Mario the Plumber? Mario the Plumber is the worst user on YouTube, and you subscribe to him? What the fuck? No, I'm unsubscribing you for that shit. Best comment I ever got. Well, that's kind of depressing if your best comment comes from a kid. Also, that comment's nothing. I got comments like this. Your argument is invalid. Like the plague, and spend your money on better games. Heard Bioshock Infinite's coming out in a few months, and that game looks good. But then again, people would rather complain about pointless stuff like a, a game's on my system isn't, uh, it's coming out on other systems and the Wii U. Wow, this is stupid. If, if you're one of those people, like the plague and spend your money on better games. Am I having deja vu here? Why is Gligar's video repeating? Yes, that is his video, not mine. I had nothing to do with that. Dude, your editing is utter shit. Look at Four Wheeler, expecting kids half his age to be complete editing masters. And. You basically just die on purpose like a bitch. And you tell you told us to subscribe you for more? Well how about this? How about no you surface asshole but her dumb ass bitch? Again, unnecessary insults for the loss. And I can easily say that you're a butthurt crybaby bitch all because you were feeding a troll. Cool. He was criticizing a game that you like. Four Wheeler, let me tell you the main reason why people have a negative opinion on commentaries and kids. It's because you do shit like this. It, it, it just sounds, sounds like, like a pseudo intellectual, intellectual like Brontish. Like Look, Look, dumbass. dumbass. You're, you're a butthurt butt crybaby butt bitch. bitch. And the worst part is that this has come from people who are twice the age of the kid. Because, you know, that's really setting a good example for everyone out there. You, your reviews are shit. That's why you don't have that many subscribers of yours. Um, last I checked, Glacker has over 900 subscribers. Not only that, he's also a YouTube partner. Unless Rogasm's 300 subscribers count as popular, I don't think you need to be popular to be a YouTube partner. Now for my thoughts. Kid, I would be very happy to congratulate you for successfully feeding an obvious troll. I don't understand how people like you to pull the leader bugs, guy. And that's the end of the video. Justin, I thought you were better than this. I thought you knew better than to commentate on a kid. What, did Four Wheeler just come up to you and say, Hey, I'm doing a commentary, wanna join? And you just couldn't refuse? And Four Wheeler, I can easily say that this was one of the worst commentaries I've ever seen, let alone one of the worst I've seen from you. Seriously, at this point, I don't know how you can get any lower four-wheeler. I'm just done with you. Final thoughts? KM, you're still a prick.